So flourishing deeply among the stars. So the wisdom of rice. So I am bringing the wisdom of rice because that is a staple food from the Philippines where, where I grew up in. And um, it is again like half the staple food of half of the people in this planet. So it's a very good opportunity for, for you know, especially in the conversations about diversity and uniting together, you know, you know, people from different parts of the world, half and half of the world or whatever, like um, divisions we have. I think mm. it's nice to like learn the wisdom of rice of, on how to bring us all together because rice has brought a lot of people together, especially, especially I think in Asian countries and Latin America and some parts of Africa. Like it has been a food, like a central food for people and it brings people together and a lot of the people that it touches are usually from what they call developing countries and so you know it, it really strikes a chord when it comes to the state of our world when it comes to you know where are we really headed as a as humanity so and i'm gonna talk more about that as we go along so that's why i was inspired by rice and that's also how i found myself through rice because i i grew up in the philippines and we were you know the history of the philippines in a nutshell like we were colonized for hundreds of years and we we lost we almost lost our 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 roots our culture and one of the highlights of like what we went through like our priestesses our shamans as you call as some people call them in different cultures we they were fed to crocodiles just to make sure because they were like the colonizers uh, at the time were so afraid of their power that they were not satisfied that to kill them they even fed them to the crocodiles to make sure that they don't come back like that's how much atrocity our, our people went through and it's obviously it's more stuff happened more than that that's really really traumatizing and as someone who was born in this century in this lifetime I was carry I was carrying that trauma in my body in my family, in my family um, dynamics, I grew up in that, not not consciously knowing that that was what was going on. And so I grew up feeling very lost, feeling unsure of myself, and still having that West, a lot of Western influences in my community. I really didn't really understand what it means to be myself, to be a Filipino. And a lot of Filipinos actually want to go to the United States because that, that is what we were conditioned to believe or that was what taught to us that it's better somewhere else than where we are. And so I went to the United States and found myself again lost. <laughs> and But because of that, it pushed me to seek answers. It pushed me to really like awaken within my own self and that's when I, I met people along my journey. I met uh, people doing similar community work as you are doing, uh, Julian, and I met especially Indigenous Wisdom Keepers and people who are still stewarding a lot of the cultural aspects of different, cult of, of different um, countries, different practices. So I learned so much from different people and I found the common humanity in all of us and uh, and inspired me to go back to my roots, go back to uh, to Banawe Fugao, which is like one of the, I get, I would say it's one of the still remaining preserved cultures in the Philippines that's more, that's indigenous because a lot of them are already waning and fading. And even the Ifugao culture is, is starting to dwindle too. And so to be in like in that space of like, what to be in that space of what is still remaining in its purity is very very a very very special gift to me and their culture mainly revolved around rice and I wanted to share like in this um, in this like workshop that we're having right now how much it changed my life and I also want to um, consciously connect with um, the Ifugo hut which is a, a very sacred symbol of the Ifugo culture of home and family and simplicity and 
uh, giving also the energy, good energy of love and hope and um, just support and light for for its own revival as well, for its own for its own healing as well, because the land in Ifogao is also needing healing and so when we are healing in this space right now, we are helping heal that place as well and Mother Earth as a whole. You know, my, with my blossoming journey, when I went to Ifugao, um, I think that's one of the main highlights of like my blossoming because I really experienced um, like real direct connection with Mother Earth and she it was as if like she was my main teacher at that time mm -hmm. and I didn't have we didn't have any stove we didn't have refrigerator we didn't have any amenities like very 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 basic I mean we still have a little bit but it's very very basic and we really had to live off of the land which is like the way of life of the Gitan over there it's very very simple and so with all of these things kind of like stripped away it really forced me to get in touch with myself and get in touch to who I really am and my inner nature. And now that it really, it really changed my life, I wanted to like share that, I guess, in this space. Hmm. And, and, and with the wisdom of rises is more of like, what I'm sharing is more from my personal journey. So I am not a an expert about rice. So this is more of like my own connection with rice. So um, rice really speaks to me because um, I did sit with it one time because when I was in, in Ifugao, I didn't, I, I, I immersed there, but I didn't really get, got to sit with the rice. And I actually have a cup of rice here just to, you know, help me and us. So. And I sat with it in one of like my sessions with another person. And it's interesting how these little beings actually talk to me. Like they're like little, they sounded like little beings, but, and it just shows how, you know, each grain is like, it show, is, is like um, important in the collective, like how each grain is contributing into to the, like the power of feeding like half, like 3.5 billion people in this planet. Like each grain is so small, but together they're so big. So it's like, it, it has like a, like the wisdom about community building and which is what I love, I love doing. And, and also it shows how, like, even if it in its plainness, like you can pretty much eat rice with so many things. And so it, it shows you how they are very, um, they can easily connect with like the diverse, um, food around the world like you can eat a lot of things with rice so it's like it's they are the ultimate teacher for like unity and diversity mm -hmm. and and it also shows how like at the core level of everything we're all the same thing like we're all souls at our core being and rice really really symbolizes and represents that so I never even thought of that wisdom till I actually sat down and, and listened to rice and so I would ask you now as a practice to um, uh, connect with rice, but I would love to do it in the context of, because we are, we're talking about more of like the community and community building and like village, like teaching people some village, village tools and things like that. So I wanted to tap into like the community level mm. as it relates to the self. So, and to do that, I wanted to ask this question that you can uh, like reflect on what like your answer is, is about, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm a, I feel called to sing, so I'm gonna sing. Oh, nice. <laughs> because we've released, I can feel the release. <laughs> I'm not, I haven't really, I don't know if my voice is awake right now, but let's just do it. Bring it on, bring it on. <laughs> you probably already heard this because I mean, I'm probably gonna sing this too in the workshop because this is what I sing in, Ifugao, but yeah, it's just a simple song. <clears throat> there it is. It's my first time also using this, okay. Jeremy. <laughs> Ah, 
balikana. Pumikit limutin ang problema. Hihintayin ang maga. Magpahinga Para ginipang ikan liligaya Darating din ang maga Basta tayo'y magkasama Parang sikat ng araw, may dalang liwanag sa ating pangarap. Ooh, harapin Thank you. I was just feeling that energy it was so heavy. I was like, oh. <laughs> Beautiful. I might need to do that too. That's gonna, that's a great piece to share with people. I love it. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. So, so now we can now start um, thinking about the good things. Now that we've released a layer and what was coming to me too related to, you know, what happened in Ohio with the oil, mm. the chemical spill. Like that's that's that can be like a form of static, and it's like we we grieve the statics of the world when we ourselves we have our te- we have our own tendency to be addicted to our own statics. <laughs> mm. You know? Yeah. I do that too. <laughs> so it's somehow comfortable, yeah. Yeah. So if we let go of the static within ourselves then we will inspire other people in the world to let go of that and more synchronous more synchronicity that is more balanced and for the restoration of our, our well-being is going to be more possible mm-hmm. so i love that i love that visioning it feels more i feel i feel the energy we are so so grateful for you please bless our harvest Please bless our thank you for 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 granting us this beautiful harvest in this gathering right now. And please bless our harvest and also amplify the light that we the energy that we've created today and also the the role and mission that has become clear in our place in our community work, the out of balances that we are tending within ourselves our tent we are tending in our community and how we are doing that where we are which is within ourselves and i also want to connect with the ifugao rice terraces to thank them for their wisdom the ifugao rice and the ifugao hut for bringing us back to our home within our hearts and our soul and in this energy that is very loving, very balanced, that the Ifugao ancestors have been, um, have lived for thousands of years and have passed on to the next generation and in stewarding Mother Earth. And now for you to give us the gift of this home within us, this Ifugao hot home within us, that is um, very healing and also resembling the um, the shape of the pyramid, as like um, uh, mentioned by Lagitan as well, that it is um, healing because it has that shape and it's connected to the cosmos. It's connected to the stars, and so in this work that we're doing, we're rooting ourselves, grounding ourselves within ourselves, and flourishing from that deep, deep within us. We're able to now flow overflow these um, beautiful energy that is coming from our soul towards the mother earth towards other people towards our community and towards 
the whole cosmos. And this is allowing Mother Earth to us to flourish, allowing our family, our groups, our community to flourish. And it's allowing Mother Earth to flourish among the cosmos, among the stars. And in this, we feel our connection, our deep connection to our family of stars around us through our connection within ourselves.